In Greek mythology, there exists a story of Daedalus and Icarus. Daedalus was just an ordinary man, except for one special talent. He was an inventor of strange and wonderful mechanical creations. Icarus and Daedalus were trapped in a cave high above the sea because of Daedalus' skills. One day, Icarus walked up beside Daedalus and said softly, How I envy those baby birds, for soon their wings will be strong enough and they'll be able to fly away from this wretched cliff. Daedalus blinked, a smile slowly growing on his face. He turned to Icarus while his eyes twinkled and said, Well then, we'd best start working on strengthening your wings so you can be off with the others. So Daedalus began to make two pairs of man-sized wings. The day they were to leave, Daedalus lectured Icarus one last time. Now remember, you must be cautious when we fly. Fly too close to the ocean, and your wings will become too heavy with the water that sprays off the waves. Fly too close to the sun, and the wax will melt, and you will lose feathers. Follow my path closely, and you'll be fine. Icarus nodded and excitedly slid his arms into the harness. He listened absently as Daedalus explained how to open the wings wide to catch the air currents and how to use the pulleys to steer. With an eager hug, good luck, Daedalus and Icarus stepped into the entrance of the cave overlooking the sea, spread their wings as wide as they would go, and leaped, one after the other, out over the ocean. As if it had been waiting for him, the wind caught Icarus's wings almost immediately, and up he soared. Oh, what freedom! Icarus threw his head back and laughed as the startled seagulls dodged away from him, and then swooped back squawking warnings when he steered too close to the nesting cliffs. Daedalus shouted to Icarus to be careful, to stop playing with the birds and follow him toward the shore of an island in the distance. But Icarus was having too much fun. He was tired of always following Daedalus, always listening to his endless lectures, and Icarus was thrilled with his sudden freedom. He watched the seagulls rise on the air currents high up over the sea and thought to himself, careful? Huh. The birds aren't careful. They're happy. They're free. Oh, what a glorious adventure this is. The sun is so warm and the breeze tugs at my wings as if even the wind is happy I'm finally loose. I can't believe I've been missing this for all these years trapped in that cold, damp cave. And with that, he followed the seagulls up and up and up into the sky. No, Icarus, stop, shouted Daedalus. The wax will melt if it gets too warm. Not so high, not so high. But Icarus was too far away or too lost in his own happy thoughts of excitement to listen to Daedalus' warning. As he flew still higher, he began to feel the warm wax ripping down his arms and saw feathers falling like snowflakes down around him. Remembering Daedalus' lectures, Icarus realized with horror his mistake. He began to work the pulleys to tilt his wings back down toward the sea. But as he did so, he saw more feathers drip away, and he began to lose height more quickly than he wanted. Working the pulleys even more frantically, Icarus flapped the wings trying to slow his fall, but the harder he flapped, the more feathers detached from the frame of the wings. As Daedalus watched in horror, Icarus plunged toward the sea frantically flapping the pulleys with his arms. When he finally hit the water, there wasn't a feather left attached. Daedalus landed as quickly as he could on the beach near where Icarus had fallen. But the only sign of Icarus was a few feathers floating in the waves. It was crumpled to the sand, his face in his hands, for he knew Icarus was dead.